At 5.30, verdict watch in the trial of a woman accused of murdering her son more than two decades ago. This is the third time Anna Maria Cardona has been tried for her son's death. His emaciated body was found in the bushes, and for a while, he was known solely as baby lollipops because of the printed uh, lollipops on his T-shirt. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live in Miami, where we are waiting for the jury's decision. Ted. Yeah, Ruta Bay and Rick, jury uh, deliberation has been going on for over an hour now. Before that, closing arguments lasted uh, from this morning all the way until late in the afternoon. Uh, today, the defense attorney told the jury that the suspect was a lousy mother, but she was not a killer. Meanwhile, the prosecutor called her a liar, said that she's responsible for her son's death. Before you kill me, I'll kill you. That's what Anna Cardona said to her child. Anna Maria Cardona is on trial for the third time, accused of killing her three-year-old son, Lazaro Figueroa, in November of 1990. Her first two convictions were overturned. He was known as Baby Lollipops because of the T-shirt he was wearing. Police initially did not know who he was. During closing arguments, prosecutors pointed the finger at his mother, saying she abused Lazaro most of his life. He was only 18 pounds, that she ultimately beat him, then left him to die in the bushes in Miami Beach. She left her son, Lazaro Figueroa, in the bushes, in the dirt, to die alone, being eaten by insects. And I can only assume that you are angry at Anna Cardona. Cardona's defense attorney tried to convince the jury that she may have been a bad mother, but certainly not a killer. Anna was a lousy mother. The charge of aggravated child abuse may have been proven, and I'll leave that up to you. The charge of murder has not. Cardona has given several accounts of what happened to her son over the years. When she took the stand, she said the real culprit was her former girlfriend, Olivia Gonzalez. She took a plea years ago and has already served her time. What killed him at that time, on those days, was the blow to the head at the hand of Olivia Gonzalez with a baseball bat. Prosecutors urged the jury not to believe that version, that the one who killed Lazaro was his own mother. Lazaro inevitably withered and died and lay in the dirt until his little heart stopped beating. And the death penalty is off the table this time around. If convicted, she could face life in prison. Live in Miami, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.